Okay, I think it's about time I reinstall Windows. Because I've got a whole bunch of crap on here that I really don't want anymore. And I think reinstalling Windows would be a much better option. Before I do that though, I just want to bring up a couple of things. Now, about the problem that I was having with YouTube where it wasn't loading and everything, well, I thought that was just YouTube being YouTube, you know. However, I've tried it on a different browser, I'm trying it on Brave now, which is becoming my number one browser. I've only been using it a couple of days and it's just so much better than Firefox. Firefox was so bloated and sluggish. But this just works, you know. <clears throat> I'll just play any video here. This is the story of a man named Stan. That works just fine. Standing work for a company in a big building where he was employee number four. No hanging up, no employee number four. Waiting hours and hours for a video to start playing. Works just great. Orders came to him for a monitor of the place. Sounds like the story of my life, this. Now this is the version of Windows that Microsoft do not want you to have. And this is what's going to be installed. This is the good Windows 10. The non-crap Windows 10. And here it is, on a USB drive, ready to be installed. So anyway, getting back to this, yes. I did try the reset this PC option and it did reinstall Windows, but it caused all kinds of problems. Which is why I just want to do a complete, clean reinstall of Windows. Now, the only problem is that this is Windows version 1909, and the version of Windows LTSC I have is 1809. That's the latest version they have, so... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a downgrade, but I don't think it's going to be too much trouble. The only other problem is, I have first boot enabled in the BIOS, which means that I can no longer get to it. So hopefully, if I do the restart now, we should be able to get to it this way. Yes, there we go. I want to use the USB device, which is this one here. So hopefully, we can just get straight in and install Windows 10 LTSC onto the hard drive. Okay, I've got my options back there on the corner of the screen, so... Okay, we'll just ignore this and let it continue. Okay, so I'm not going to go and set this up. I'm not going to go through the entire setup process because, well, I don't want to bore you with that, so, yeah. Right, okay. This is the disk we want to format. Yep. Yep, just get it all off. Are we formatted? I think we are. Okay. Well, as the camera slowly drifts upwards and upwards without me knowing about it, I'm going to come back when this is done. Alright, okay, well in the 15 minutes I took in the toilet, Taking a dump. I think it's installed. Although we're going to have to set up a few things. So, I'm just going to fast forward this bit while it's getting a smeg together. Or on second thoughts, I'll just do a jump cut. Some people ask me, why don't I just install Linux? Then I would be free of all the problems that Windows gives me. Well, yes, there is that. But then I'd have all the problems that Linux gives me. And I mean no disrespect to anybody who uses Linux as their daily driver OS. As a matter of fact, I would love to switch to Linux, but... Because so much of the stuff I have is dependent on Windows, Windows it has to be. Well, I think another jump cut is in order here. Okay, and this screen has finally come up. <clears throat> Got so much gunge collecting in my chest all the time. And no, that's not because of this virus going about. I've always been like this. So anyway, yeah, even though this is LTSC, it's still going to ask me all these ridiculous questions on startup. Because, here's the thing. I tried this in a virtual machine, 
So, I know exactly what it's going to ask me on the startup. No, I don't want to add a second keyboard layout. I only have one keyboard connected to this. Yes, it's in rather a bad state. I do have a much better keyboard, but I just can't be asked to connect it right now. Okay, jump cut. Now, does it restart it, or is it going on with the next part of the installation? I don't know. Yeah. Because I know it has to restart several times. It's just part of the installation process. But yeah, another jump cut is in order here. Okay. Windows really wants you to have a Microsoft account, doesn't it? But you know what? Screw you. I am not going and will never sign in with Microsoft. So we'll do it this way instead. Who is going to use this PC? I better just type that in. Cool dude, Clem. There we are, cool dude, Clem. And no, I am not going to do that. So you can stuff that right where the sun don't shine. Password, well, we're going to be removing passwords later on. Although I'm going to have to put one in for now and answer all these stupid security questions. And no, I am not going to use an online account. Right, that's all that dumbness done. So can we finally get into Windows? I know it's going to ask me more questions. No, 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 no. Nope. No, no, and no. Right, if memory serves, we should be ready. Well, when this has um, got itself together, of course. And of course, we've got to wait again. I forgot about this part. Semi, is that getting dark? You don't have to take your seasick pills anymore because I've put the camera on a thing. I hope it's nice and level. Windows 10 LTSC is installed. Now this only took about 30 minutes. Normally it takes about 2 to 3 hours to install Windows 10, but this one, yeah, this thing installs nice and quick. So let's just run Winver, which I've already done prior to making this video, but there we go. Windows 10 LTSC. Let's try to stabilize the camera. I like this older background that it has, you know, with the windows and the light coming through it. So that bland background that the newer versions of Windows have. Anyway, let's just have a look at what we've got here. Let's have a look in Windows accessories. Okay, we've got a calculator. We're going to need that. Internet Explorer. Who needs that? Paint. A few other things. WordPad and Notepad. Are they there? Yep. So, I think the first thing to do is get a much better internet browser. So, I'm going to install Brave on this thing. So, I'll set up Brave. Yes, I want it to be installed. What's this? NVIDIA control panel is not found. Well, you can stuff your NVIDIA control panel. Get it from the Microsoft Store, huh? Well, that's not going to happen because this doesn't have Windows Store. I had a look at the Windows Store one time a while back and I didn't think much of it. I've never used the Windows Store apart from that one time when I had a look at what's in it. Alright, okay, let's close that. Oh, I know another thing that really needs to be done. Change this resolution because although this monitor is capable of 1920 by 1080 my eyes are not. Or at least at the distance that I watch this thing from, so... Let's go to... Um, I can find it. 1280 by 720, that's much better. I can see things now. Everything's not microscopic anymore. <sighs> Everything's not microscopic anymore. Gotta stop my voice doing that. And stay sounding like a kid. A lot of people don't like the way I sound, but I want to be, I want to sound like a kid because that's what I've been for most of my life. Alright then. My camera battery is just about depleted. I don't understand why these new why 
modern batteries are thought of to be so good, you know, this lithium iron and lithium polymer stuff, they don't last. You know, I use it for about a year and then I don't hold a charge anymore. There we are, so the camera's on the mains now, so yeah. First of all, let's just go into my Google Mail. And yes, I know my Google Mail address is going to be shown, but hey, I don't care if people mail me. It gives me something to open. I agree. F off. Let's sign into Google. Right, okay. Let's go into my Google Mail. I'll save that. And no, I do not want notifications. And let's go to YouTube. Okay, Xbox, go to YouTube. What about YouTube? Uh, that should be on my YouTube thing. No, I do not want notifications because... Look, this is my subscriptions page. Well, actually, no. This is my subscription page. If I want to see if anybody's uploaded a new video, I'll go here. Because I've got it all in front of me, right here. Alright, let's change this to a dark theme because I hate everything being so bright. Alright, we'll just set this to the specific pages. So I'll make Brave the default browser as well. And appearance. We want dark theme. Much better. Now there's one more thing I need to do. Let's see if I can find the sound control panel menu because I want to turn on loudness equalization. That is if I can find it. Device properties, is it that? No. This is why I prefer the classic control panel. It makes it so much easier to do this stuff. Oh, maybe it's this. No, I've already tried that. Well, you know what I need to do because I cannot seem to find how to get into this thing. Oh wait, sound control panel. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Okay, playback. I want to make the high definition device the audio. I mean, the default device. So set that as default device. Also, we're going to go into levels. Or is it enhancements? Loudness equalization. There we go. And um, we'll do the activation a lot later. Well, I'm going to be watching the internet for a while, so I'll see you later. So, Windows is now activated. And I'm going to be completely honest with you here. Although I do not endorse piracy, I've had to do it for this because. I just do not trust product keys. I mean, you could buy one, but there's no guarantee that it'll work. I've heard stories of people who have done that and just found out that they wasted their money. So, anyway, you know, I downloaded a batch script and that did the job. Let's just see if we can find it. Yeah, there it is. So, have a look in there. I'm not going to put up a link to it, but yeah. I'm also going to make a copy of that. I'm going to edit, come on, edit, edit, give me the, f give me the fudging edit dialog, right, save as, I'll just say this is one click text, and also, I'm going to 7 zip it, no, not zip it, 7 zip, that way there's no way the computer can delete that file when I turn the antivirus protection back on because I had to do that and also I had to run this as administrator or it says your version of Windows is not supported so let's just turn the antivirus back on so let's just turn the antivirus back and now let's make Windows work the way I want it to so I have a USB drive with all my software on it, I'm just going to shove it in somewhere. Man, that's a tight fit. But yeah, I think the first thing to do is sort out this awful start menu. Even though it's better than the standard Windows 10 start menu, uh, it's hard to navigate. I cannot find anything in this thing. It's 
It's insane. It's it's stupid. It's I, something needs to be done about it. All right, so let's just try to find this thing. USB drive. Software and junk. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install Open Shell, so we can take care of that god awful start menu. Yeah, I think we'll go with the arrow start button as well. Oh yes, look at that. That is much better. Yeah, and we don't need this silly start window start menu, so I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so, let's first install Video Codex, because we're going to need these, um, when I can find it. There we are, K-Lite Codec Pack. Now, this is an old version of the K-Lite Codec Pack, but I use it because it works. Motion JPEG is not glitchy, and uh, when I play audio files, it doesn't play the whole thing full screen, you know? It plays it in a little mini player. Which is much better. Now why is it extracting Adobe Premiere? I'm not even going to install that on this computer. Open Office, that's another thing that's going to get installed. And then this way I can watch videos. Alright, we'll just select all video or audio. This also works on Windows XP, which is really helpful. Yeah, well, I don't care, so you can just F off. Alright, so we're installing software now. Unfortunately, Format Factory wants to install a whole bunch of other software that I really don't care about. And there's no way to say, no, I don't want this installed. But I've got a workaround for that, so let's just go to Cancel. I'm going to go over here to my internet router and unplug the thing. Alright. So my router is not connected anymore, so this does not have internet access now. So now we'll go and install Format Factory. Yeah, you're not going to find anything now. Right. Let's install Format Factory, and when that's installed, I'll plug the internet back in. And there we go. I don't know why people bundle other software with their things, I don't want that. That's there, now I'm just going to install the rest of this, and then I'm actually going to make Windows look pretty. Okay, almost all there now. Had to install a few runtimes as well. I don't know why programs can't be just self-contained rather than depending on having other things installed, you know, like it used to be. It's so much easier. Yep, I've even installed Speakonia. Because... I can't help it. I just got to do this. So, I'm going to install window blinds on here now. So, I don't know why I just closed that folder. Because it's right there. Where is window blinds? Where is it? Oh, I might as well install this as well while I'm here. Virtual CD drive? Oh, that's another thing I have to do. Stop these freaking sounds! It's driving me insane! Fortunately, since I installed Classic Shell, I can get to the proper control panel. The good control panel. The control panel that you should still have. Alright, I'm going to get sound. Sounds. No sounds. Apply. And that'll be another thing. That's not bothering me anymore. Right, now where was window blinds? There we go. Yep, I agree. Yada, yada, yada. Isn't this exciting, everybody? We're watching something being installed. So that watching paint drop. Well, I think I'll be back when this is installed, although it seems to be speeding up now, so... <coughs> Got guns in my chest again. How long has this been recording? Almost four minutes. 
And now we are. Yes, I have a product key. And I did buy this legally. Right, so we'll just close that and we'll load. Wait for it. There it comes. And now we've got a good looking version of Windows 10. There's just one thing left to do. I really should change this to light theme, but I'm not going to. Okay, here we are. I'll just download this registration entry. And now we should be able to view these. There we are, Windows Photo Viewer. The good photo viewer. The one that should be the default voter. Photo viewer. Buried deep down inside Crazy Amy. Yes, I take photos of strange things. And he's got a sonic. A little curious taste. Well, I'm pretty much all settled in now. Got my Steam installed. Got a couple of games here, including Simpsons Hit and Run. So I better remember when I used to make videos about that. That was a long, long time ago. And I got me Brave web browser. All set up and running. So I got that. I got my YouTube. And of course I got my open Wattplug tracker set up. So yeah. Play me some Simpsons Hit and Run. Ah, yes, just look at all these options I've got here. Yeah. Let's just make sure Never Busted is selected. Alright. Time to go back in time. I'm not going to bore you with hours and hours and hours of gameplay. But, you know. Mama, you forgot to get dressed today. Well, I'm gonna go now, so until next time, goodbye. No, I do not want to sign in with a Microsoft account. Dismiss.